Hello, I'm using Generate Press Theme and Generate Blocks plugin, and I'm going to make a simple hero header section for a web page. So I'm going to make a new page. I'm going to disable the post title. Now, when it says sidebars, I want to choose content, no sidebars. I don't want sidebars on this page. When it says page builder container, I'm choosing full width. And then I'm going to publish. I could save as a draft, but I'm going to publish it. I'm going to close this panel. Now the first block on my page, I want to be a container block. So I click the add block button and I'm going to search for container. Add a container block and inside the container block, I want to add a grid block. So I can search for grid. One column grid and inside that grid, I want to add a headline. So search for headline. And I use the one with the blue icon, which is a generate blocks headline. I don't want the Gutenberg headline, I want the generate blocks headline. Type my headline in there. And I'm going to put some a paragraph of text underneath the headline. So with the headline block again, but this time in the element drop down, I'm going to choose paragraph. I'm going to change the size of these two, um, the, the paragraph and the headline. So in the typography box, I click show advanced typography. And all I want to do with this one is change the size from 18 to 20. And for the headline, click in the headline. I want to make that bigger. So once the headline block is active, click typography, show advanced typography, font size, and I want it to be 50 for the headline. Now on mobile phones, I want it to be smaller. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to update the page. So I save my settings. And now I'm going to use the mobile tab to set it instead of 50, but 30 for mobiles. So the font size will be 30 on mobiles and 50 on a desktop. Click update again. I always update or save whenever I change from desktop to tablet to mobile. I always save in between. Now, now I want to add a background image to the container block. And the easiest way to navigate around the different blocks is if you look at the bottom here, you've got these breadcrumbs. And so I want to, if you, Click, say, in the header, you can go back to the container that contains that header. So this is now, I've now activated that container block. And I want to add a background image. So I scroll down to background images, background image, set background image, and I've got an image in my media library. The image I'm using is 1920 pixels by 1080. Now I want a bit more space to see what's going off, so I'm going to disable that sidebar. So if we go to click the More Options tool here, full screen mode, and the dashboard sidebar will disappear. It gives us a bit more space to work with. Click away. So I'm going to click the container again. If we look at the background image settings, and we added the background image, another option became available. Until you've added a background image, you won't see this background color overlay option. But after you add the background image to your container, click background color overlay to toggle that option on. And the, the image hasn't disappeared. It's just hidden at the moment. So we've got to go up to background colors, to go to color, background color. And I want that to be a black background color, but I want to reduce the opacity to about 60 and then close the background color and the text color I'm going to make white. Save again. Now 
at the moment, the text spans the full width of the screen. And what I want to do is to make it span half the width of the screen. So I click somewhere in the text and I want to go to the container. We've got a grid and container. I want to go to the, the container that's inside that grid. So I'll go headline container and I can choose 50% wide. I'm going to select the main container again. And this time I want to go to the spacing option and I'm going to make a minimum height of 80%. So click 80 and then this VVH, click 80. And now I want to change the ver vertical alignment to center. Just move the text down to the center. So I'll update and I'll preview and see what we've got. So we've got a really simple hero header that's only taken us five minutes to make. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.